And of course, normally you would base you would base these sides also. All right, that that's got that lined up. Now let's go back over to this first stitch, or last stitch, I mean, and turn on my channel lock again. And we're right over that last stitch, turn on the channel lock, and bring this over and look at the bottom of this quilt. Make sure that this is straight across. Sometimes if you have a quilt that is, now here I'm right on the start. If it's not, let's say it's this direction. It didn't roll up straight and it's this side. Well, we need to put something in here, stuff like uh, some scrap batting will work, you know, to put in there until you get this back right where you want it. If it's somewhere out in the center, here you just do that again, all right? And if you can't find some scrap batting, just use your socks, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's work. Now, if it's on coming out this way, you can take and roll this like that and put your batting or your socks down here to pull that back. But you want to be sure that's lined up. Now, this sewing with that first time across is going to be perfectly straight across. But once you roll it, it can move on you. Uh, again, I'll, if you use, have a big quilt, thick batting or a real dense pattern, this will try to pull in. Now, you don't want to adjust the pattern on the screen. What you want to do is get that it's going to be straight. So you want to get the quilt back straight. So when you take the quilt off, it's going to look nice and straight. It won't pull in in the middle or sides. Okay, let's, uh, now what I've done, I'm going to go back. I didn't roll this far enough on purpose. I kind of like to exaggerate sometimes. And uh, let's get out of his, this mode. And go back to continue. We'll have to go back to edge to edge mode and hit continue again. And yes, I have. Now, that adjusted the quilt back in where, the, where this is at perfectly now. All right, but if I hit the quilt button, it's not going to quilt because I don't have anything black here. And the reason this pattern is underneath that line, if, if it's outside of that, it will not sew. And that's the problem people have. Well, there's an easy fix for that. Let's just go back, take my clamps off. And let's roll that quilt to where it should be. That ought to give me enough room. Now I'm going to put the head back on that last stitch. And do a continue. And I can do it from here. It, it tried to move on me a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to mow over to continue. All right. Yes. Let's do a yes. I could do that from the head. Now, if you notice, we have a black pattern. And it's asking us to select points along the bottom of the, of the quilt. And what that's for, now I don't, this quilt doesn't have a bottom to it. So I'm going to just demonstrate. I like to start on this right side and click along there. And when I get to the bottom of the quilt, I'm looking at the screen right now, but you would look at the bottom of the quilt. And now we'll just click along there. 
that gives us a reference where the bottom is at. And when I get to this side, I like to also click along this side. All right, that's good. Okay, now what I have here, I have the pattern inside of that block. If it's not, I can go back and do continue again. That's neat. We can keep adjusting that. All right, so let's, uh, no, oh, you notice that is black, so it'll sew. So I think we're ready to sew that now. Oh, I, I turned off my needle. I have to make sure it's turned back on. I don't think it's sewed very well. Well, I'm going to stop that. And the reason I stopped that, no is uh, I didn't put my clamps on. Now I meant to do that so you would learn. And on a normal quilt, I would, I would baste that, but I don't want to take the time to do that basting for the video. So uh, let's go back to our sew and sew that. We've just finished quilting this quilt. That demonstrates the edge-to-edge -edge mode using end of set. I hope you enjoy this feature as much as I do. Mm -hmm.